Hello everyone. Welcome to Mechanical Moments at Mercy J. I am Rick Smith, the host, certified master technician. Today I want to talk a little bit about water. Uh, water can be a lot of fun and it can be very refreshing for all of us here in the desert. I know my wife and I, uh, we actually love to take out our boat. We do a lot of fishing. Uh, also, we take our grandkids and we like to drag them behind the inner tube. Uh, so although water is a lot of fun and refreshing for us and we love to play in it, sometimes our cars don't like it quite as much as we do. So let me tell you about a couple of things that our cars might not like. You know, we do have uh, monsoon seasons here, so we kind of get some floods sometimes. Uh, we also use our vehicles like I do to launch our boats or our jet skis, that kind of stuff. Uh, so first of all, if we drive through some deep water too fast, the engine might suck up the water. And so last year we had a vehicle come in, the engine sucked up some water and it bent a rod. So this is a piston rod, and this is what one should look like. Uh, after ingesting some water, this is what it looked like. So you can see here's a straight one, here's a bent one. So there's the first thing that can happen. It doesn't happen often, but it can happen. Secondly, my GMC truck, it has some emission control solenoids on the bottom of the bed. So if I back in deep enough to launch my boat and get water in those, I might cause a problem and then turn my check engine light on. Uh, third, we could have a situation I'm going to show you today. We have with us today an RX 300, 400, uh, which is by Lexus, and this particular one's a hybrid electric car. And so this poor lake lover, uh, when they launched their boat or jet ski, uh, things went a little awry. So let me show you what happened. So this is the battery compartment. Uh, these, these things here you see, these are the battery packs. And as a side note, whenever you see wiring like this that is orange, uh, make sure you use a lot of caution around that because the orange casing is an indication that what we have is high voltage in those situations. Now I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's a lot of corrosion down in here in the bottom of this compartment. Uh, this, uh, this piece that's in view right now, uh, this is the relay set for the high voltage system. So basically what happened is where the high voltage wires exit through the floor of the car, when the car got deep in water, water came up in here, filled this compartment, and then it basically the corrosion destroyed these relays. So a pretty tough day at the lake for our friend here. Okay, so I do have some good news in this video. For our poor lake lover, uh, the insurance company is going to take care of this for him. And so we'll actually have him back on the road today. Uh, so. Bottom line here is have fun around water, but be careful also. So until next time, uh, safe travels to you and blessings.